So 50% of the habitable land is currently used for agriculture. Livestock industry is one of the major contributors to CO2 emissions in the world. And combined with uh, the food industry and agriculture in general, they account for 45% of the greenhouse gases across the world. But even with this, by 2050, the amount of food available will not be enough to feed the world's population, 10 billion people that we would be at that point. So basically, what we are eating is killing us and is putting at risk our life on a planet. This is why at Costa Rica Institute Company, we decided to create um, healthy and sustainable food solutions to solve the biggest problems of the world. We decided to go with insects just because of Pao actually saying that is the food of the future. We decided to investigate a little bit more and we found out that specifically crickets compared with livestock, they account for 200, 2,000 times less water, 25 times less space, 12 times less food, and even 100 times less CO2 emissions. That they are also very, very healthy. For example, crickets have three times more protein, they have fiber, they have vitamin B12, zinc, and other essential amino acids for humankind. We decided to create a production model that was different just because of the needs that we saw here in our country in Costa Rica. So we decided to create a model of production where we provided the greenhouses for uh, the farmers and equipment. Uh, we decided to get an initial training and continue support for the farmers and then to buy 100% of the whole production. And then we decided for these farmers to be people in rural areas of the country to help them more to come out of poverty, to get um, to become actually insect entrepreneurs, as we call them, and work together so we can create a better world, scale the production in a sustainable way using just the weather and the environment that is perfect where we have. With this model and using insects, we're able to reach over eight of the SDGs. Specifically, we focus on zero hunger, we focus on responsible consumption and production, and of course, on climate action. Why Costa Rica is a company? Well, we are compliant with the EU, uh, the EU standard for production. We have um, partners with geographic proximity and partner credibility. The way that we um, process the insects is actually very important, where we reduce the impact by doing it in a pragmatic way and also increasing the food safety. The price points and value added is very important for this to scale and to be a solution for the world. And then we are able to create more capacity and responsiveness thanks to our um, partner program. But as well, we have an insect diversification and we are able to fulfill the needs of different raw materials. First, we started with the cricket powder, which is a food ingredient. Then we decided to create tailored innovation services for other companies. So now we're working with corporates in Costa Rica and internationally to create products like this cricket bread using our cricket uh, powder. And then we are gonna be creating ketosan extract and other innovative biomaterials and uh, partnering with other big uh, biotech companies. This is our market. Ba basically, we are focusing towards Latin America right now, which is growing very fast, but we're scaling towards Europe and North America. Maybe the need for insects is not perceived as big, but it's increasing very fast and we know this is a product that will save the world. These are our achievements. So far, we're part of the Food Tech 500. We are part of the Forbes 30 Promises. Um, our biggest accomplishment so far is the National Insect Farmer Program, where we partnered with UNED, which is a public university in Costa Rica, from the Cooperación Impact Hub and IDB Lab, in order to get this program into a national level. We have been able to raise uh, capital already, and we have even purchased orders confirmed for one year. This is our incredible team, and it's specifically great because of our passion to change the world. And thanks to these partners that we have from the U.S. Embassy in Costa Rica, Holland House, Boston Consulting Group, and Accelerate 2030, we're able to save the world eating bugs. Thank you.